Hey guys, let us know with Crypto Marie Local and International. I am not prepared for life. Millenniums blame their boomer parents for not teaching them how to be responsible adults. And I agree with it a hundred percent. I have seen grown adults, 30, 40, still living with their parents, don't have a job, and expected to have everything taken care of. It seems like how dare you not finding a job, not contributing, not doing what you're supposed to do, and thinking it's okay. It's not okay. You're supposed to handle business. Me coming from a Caribbean background, I was taught to go to school, get a degree, go to work, handle business. But in America, those um, kids nowadays, those millenniums, feel like they don't have to do a certain things. They don't have to obey your rules. They don't have to go by what you believe. As long as they are doing them, they're good to go. And I remember I reported a uh, crime that this 30-something-year-old young man was living with his parents. When his mom went to run some errands, he ended up taking his father's life. Now, I asked myself, why would you willing to do so much for a child when they get to the adulthood age they still live under your roof not contributing right and at the end they take your life not me you better show me something i will give you some time to get your shit together but you better show me you're working on something you're doing something because if not i would not take it for long that's my Caribbean strength and me. We got to work on something. We got to do something. You have to contribute. A discussion on an online platform has unveiled a shared sentiment among millennials regarding their upbringing by baby boomer parents, especially highlighting a perceived lack of preparedness for adults' life. The conversation initiated by a 38-year-old woman on Reddit in January reflects on personal experience and six import from orders on how they were prepared for life's challenges. Again, for some reason, those baby boomers did not have it easy. But somehow, they want to give their kids everything they did not get and that kind of spoiled them. That kind of like make them feel like it's okay. Somehow they're going to make it. I have heard millennials complaining about the work week hours. They don't feel like they should be working 40 hours. They don't feel like they should make the minimum wage. They want to make a million dollar. Like to make a million dollar, first you got to be an educated person. And number one, you go to school. You get degrees. You don't want to work on it. You're living with your parents, but you expect to make a million dollar. You don't want to get married. You don't want to have kids. Like mentally, they're not ready. It seems like the baby boomer parents spoil them so much with material stuff. They don't know they're supposed to work to earn a certain things, to earn a living, to have a family, to do a certain things in life. They just want to live life like a free waller, going around, do whatever the hell they want. No worries, no stress. And then I ask myself, mm, I don't understand that kind of logic. I don't understand how can somebody get up in the morning or whatever time they get up, not thinking about, wow, I'm supposed to be somewhere making some money and help contributing to wherever I lay my head on. I just don't understand that. Anyhow, now they are saying their parents did not teach them how to deal with life situation. And it's sad. It's like babies having babies. And then when they ended up having children, they don't know how to handle that pressure neither. It's a lot on those millenniums because they are not physically or mentally ready to deal with pressure, to deal with life situation. Reflecting on upbringing, upbringing, the initiator of the discussion noted, when I reflect on how I was parented, I don't remember my parents ever given me any type of life advice. Can you believe that? A 38-year-old? She said her parents did not teach her to save money or to appreciate the 
swift passing of time, particularly regarding education and personal growth. Her story resonates with a broader experience among millenniums, where parental guidance on practical life skills was minimal or absent. Another participant also, a 38-year-old woman, expressed her feelings of unpreparedness, saying, I am not prepared for life. I am finally emotionally mature, but I wasn't taught how to navigate life in terms of being a responsible adult. Can you believe that you're a 38-year-old, whether it's a man or a woman, finally mature, but was never taught to save money, was never taught to be challenged in what's going on in life, what to be ready for. It is crazy. I don't know why those baby boomer parents don't think they needed to teach their kids a certain things, at least to be able to survive. If they are on their own, if they have a job, if they don't have a job, how to make it to the, how to make it to the next level. And that's why we are dealing with the situation now with the problem. Even though they go to college, they get back having half a degree, but still don't want to work on it. They just want to lie down, being lazy, don't do nothing. It's not right. She pointed out that the lack of preparation extends beyond a single generation, suggesting a systemic issue within both family structures and educational system, highlighting a specific area of concern she said i opened a credit card at 18 and literally didn't know what interest was mm. underscoring the importance of teaching financial literacy to young adults then the conversation also touch on the predatory practices of credit card companies targeting college students in the 1990s, a concern shared by multiple participants, colleges in the 90s would let these credit companies on campus. They had tables outside our cafeteria, our cafeteria with free giveaway if you sign up. One user recalled expressing frustration over the lack of oversight and the long-term financial implications for their peers let me tell you something my son is uh, one of my son is in college may god bless him i miss him so much and i told him when they send him all kind of credit cards offered i say son right now just cut it in two pieces cut it you don't need that you're good you don't need that those kids are going to be in debt forever and the little money they give them for what i remember i had a capital one credit card jar I think there was a, a three thousand dollar on it and at the time nobody even told me about credit card interest rate whatever and then my am i'm in my late 40s but you learn and then you move on you learn by making mistake and um i remember try to make the minimum payment but whenever i make the minimum payment it seems like the main amount of i owe them was never going down it was going higher even though I tried my best to pay on time, it was never going down. I said, man, this is not working for me. And you know what I did, y'all? I get a loan for $3,000. I paid the whole thing. Oh, they said, no, no, don't worry. Uh, we can work something out. I say, ma'am, I do not care about this credit card. Once I'm done paying you right now, I'm going to cut it in two pieces. I made the payment completely i paid the balance which was three thousand dollar and they keep on even today they keep on offering me if i still want i say hell no i don't care for credit card i don't have right the only one i have now is a chase from amazon yeah i know i love my little amazon stuff i use it but i don't need no credit card i don't need to put myself in debt okay i'm trying my best to not to ever have to have no kind of balances and stupid credit card that's not going to do anything for me but make me poor so talk to your kids let them know all these free credit cards offers it's not worth it at the end they are taking money from you those credit cards company already millionaire billionaires trillionaires 
by giving you two to three thousand dollars and the interest rate is so high it's not worth it talk to your kids again the millenniums are blaming their parents for not teaching them how to deal with what life was going to bring to them it is unfortunate it is sad i had to learn from the hard way but i know to tell my kids don't get into the mess it's not worth it use cash use your own money don't get into those crap because they are trying to get you it's a trap subscribe thank you bye